Paul is in Bellingham. Paul, what would you like to say? Hi, James. Hello. Um, I, I, I'd like to take issue with you on, on one thing. It wasn't stupid people that voted for Brexit. It was politically ignorant people. The, the cleverer you, you are, you've jumped the gun here, Paul. Um, you have yeah, ju- because uh, this is our next topic, and I, I can tell you now... Uh, that among those Britons in the top 10% by a measure of cognitive performance, 73% voted remain. And among those in the bottom 10%, only right. 40%, only 40% did. So this is cognitive performance, it's, it's, not political I, I, indoctrination. I, 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 yeah, but I mean, I, it, 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 it's things that people just don't... You know, the misunderstanding of the... No, this is, co- this is the next topic. Stop talking about All the right, 11 okay. o'clock in the 10 All o'clock right. hour. All right, OK. But I'll tell you what they'll do. What they use, they'll do what they always do. Go on. They will have. They will. They will have a simple campaign, um, like along the lines of "Get Brexit Done." Yes. The Labour, the Labour Party, will over egg the pudding with their campaign, saying that they're going to do so much and and and, and confuse people. And the simple message will get. Will get the one across and it will be probably you know stop the scroungers be hard on prisoners um <laughs> i forgot about know. the prisoners no yeah, one feels yeah, sorry know. for the prisoners yeah. we'll be right. fine you know or, you know that's what but, you know lock up more people um yes. you know um, but can they do crime. this can i, I, um, I, I hang on a minute I, hang on I, I, no, on, you, the well, can, I, on the can i've got a very important point to make go on remember then. remember hang on wait there everyone be quiet everyone be quiet paul's got a very important point to make but right. Remember, in the realms of cephology, uh, 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 to overturn a a, a uh, majority of sixty-five mm. would be an exceptionally unusual event. It's very true. It, it would be. I think we forget that a little, or, or polls notwithstanding. Here, yeah, here, right. here, here's the thing that I find interesting, because your analysis, surely, with every passing year. The appeal to the old tricks that you describe loses its salience because you can point at all of these things and claim yeah. that they're awful. But the, in, 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 apart from possibly the bottom ten percent of the cognitive performance uh, uh, population, you you you're going to say you've been in charge for thirteen years. You've been in charge yeah. for fourteen years. I, I mean, yeah. you might let's even pretend you're right, and the country has been crippled by people pretending to have yeah. long COVID or whatever it is, or prisoners. You have been in charge for fourteen years. How can it possibly not be your fault? Um, they'll blame it on COVID. How could that be blamed our fault? They'll blame it on Putin. Um, and and they'll, they'll say, look, you know, the state of the country is not down to us. It's down, you know, down to these unique events. And of course, they'll blame it. Go back as far as when they took over and blame the Labour Party for the economic crash in the in in the, the 2008 when they had to clean up the economy in 2008, which it wasn't. It was down to a bunch of merchant bankers. Is um, that rhyming slang? Well, right, exactly. You know, most appropriately, isn't right, it? And I with mean, mortgage, it's really mortgages, you know? like subprime mortgages in America, yeah. it certainly wasn't yeah. the fault of Gordon Brown, which people like right. no. Greg no, Watts' chops are still pretending but, but now. Is, they are. They still blame the Labour Party for that. Um, when it was down to a... The yeah, but look at the polls. The people the, don't buy it. So, so here's the only thing that we can disagree on. You're probably right that they're going to do it. I think we disagree on how effective it would be because I suffer. I, I suffer from being one of nature's eternal optimists, Paul. Oh, I want. I, I, I'm actually a door knocker. I'm a Labour. I'm a Labour Party member. I'm a door knocker. I'm, I go out campaigning for the Labour Party. But, Blimey, that's the definition know, I, of optimism. And, and, and uh, but I'm, I, I'm telling you, you know that you know that you have to tinge it with reality. And, and do and they do, do they say campaign, this to you on the doorstep? Do you deal with people who will be enraged very deliberately and and, and consciously and, enraged? And there's a lot. What, what, what I'm what I'm dealing with a lot on the doorstep are people that are totally switched off from politics. Yes, saying I can't be bothered to vote, Fair which enough. is what, which is what they want as well. Of course, it is. But, yeah. You know, fourteen percent of the possible electorate voted Tory. So we've got fourteen percent of the electorate getting a sixty-five seat majority. majority. It was eighty at the time. Wasn't you know, it? right? And, and and you know, we, we've got a. It's a sickening state of, of a, you know, to call ourselves a democratic country is a joke. Well, I, I, I generally steer people away from the first past the post conversation, but I'm a bit frightened of you, so we, I'm not. We, I'm not going to. I'm not going to steer. We, you know, we, 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 uh, it's now Labour Party policy. It was passed at conference yes, last know. last year that um, we should have proportional representation. We must 
save this country by well, then you end up with Gert, then you could end up with Gert Wilders being the leader of the biggest party and that the British Gert Wilders Nigel no, Wilders uh, no, well, that won't happen well, you say not in that. this country not in well, this country. I love you mate because you've just got done give me the analysis of what we would describe perhaps as the unthinking rump of the electorate having far too much power and then in the space of a single phone call you've rejected the idea that having the unthinking rump of the electorate under a proportional representation system would actually deliver a far right Majority or a far right biggest party? It would never do that. Well, it would well, never, it, 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 there's me thinking I, mean, I was the optimist. You know, 60, 60, a good sixty percent of the British electorate are sensible people, yeah. and you know, if I, you know, if I, if I, you know, if, again, if I had, if I had my way, um, I would have the Australian system as well, where voting or attendance at a polling booth is is mandatory. Yes, I, I quite well. I quite like that as well, and it would address some of the problems you described. What an amazing call! Thank you, Paul.